Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today's video is a request where somebody has asked to create an enemy character for a horror game where you can't see them, you can only hear them. So let me hit play today and show you what we're going to make today. So at the moment I've got an arrow there just so we can see that it is working, but as you can see or not see they are moving around and we can only hear them growling. So if I were to be quiet you'll be able to hear it a lot better. So you can hear it growling every every couple of seconds that gives away their location and you can obviously customize this so they're moving faster they're always chasing the player they're random roaming whatever it is and you can make it so their their noise is louder more frequent less frequent whatever it is is very easy to do all i'm doing today is showing you how to create it so you can't see the character only hear them so let me do this code and i'll show you how i've done it so this is a very easy and simple one to make so let's get right into it what we're going to do first is we want to have our audio which we're using, which I'm using these three sounds here. So they're very similar but I've just got three variations. What I'm going to do is right click, go to audio, create a sound cue and name this monster cue or whatever makes the most sense for you and I'm going to open that up straight away. In here I'm going to import all of my sounds into here select them then right click and search for random so we can then play one of these sounds randomly every time we play this cue. As you can see here it's going to be playing a random one each time which is perfect so it's not going to sound too repetitive and obviously the more sounds you have the better it will sound. Now we want to create our monster blueprint so right click go to blueprint class create a character I want to name this BP underscore monster. If you've already got this then fantastic, open it up straight away. In here what we're going to do is I'm not going to add any mesh in here because obviously I don't want to see it but if you do want to add a mesh in so you can maybe switch between being able to see it and not being able to see it you add the mesh in there and then you can simply just tick hidden in game down here. Then to be able to show and hide in game you can just use set actor hidden in game ticking and unticking like so. So I'm going to go straight to the event graph here, delete event tick and begin overlap and only use event begin play. I'm going to hold down S left click to get a sequence node. Then zero is going to go into AI move two. And this is so that we can then move the enemy. I'm going to be doing a random roam. But again, you can have it so it's always going to be chasing the player, maybe just very slowly. Or it will chase the player if it sees the player. If you want to do something like that, then I do have other videos. But today it's just the basic random roam. So what I'm also going to do before I forget is set the character movement max walk speed. So let's just do max walk speed. Set that to be 100 instead of 600 just so it's walking nice and slowly. Because obviously we don't want this to be walking too quickly because the player can't see it. So that might get a bit annoying if it's constantly chasing the player without them being able to see. The pawn will be get a reference to self. And the destination will again be whatever you want. But for me it's a random roam. So I'm going to do get random reachable point in radius, move this out a little bit more. The origin is going to be get actor location, so it's just around where the enemy currently is, and I'll do a radius of 1500. Then on success, I'm going to hold down D, left click and get a delay. I'm going to set the duration to 2 seconds, and then put that back into the area move 2. I'll double click these lines to get some root nodes to keep it looking nice and organised. This just means it's going to be doing a random roam. Once it reaches the location, it will wait two seconds, then go to the next location, and it will be doing that infinitely. Now, off of then one of our sequence, we're going to get a play sound at location, with the sound being our monster cue that we created earlier, or whatever it is that you named it, and the location will again be get actor location. Now, one final thing we want to do, just while I remember, is we want to actually reopen up that monster cue and just tick override attenuation so we can actually hear where it is coming from. This gives it directional sound. And that's all we need to do. I did say it was a very simple and very quick one to do. That is it. All we need to do is make sure it's moving and playing a sound and that's all. Again, I'm showing you how to hide it as well. And again, that's it. So once you're in your level, want to make sure that you do have enough mesh bounds volume in here. If you don't have one, just go up to the top left onto the quickly add project, search for nav mesh bounds volume and drag it in and hit P to see where the enemies can walk. If it's green, they can go there. If it's red or non-existent, then they can't go there. So you want to make sure that everywhere is green. Then let's just hit play to test this out. 
after we have obviously tracked it into the level once we've done that we can now do it i've not got an arrow on it this time so we can see that we obviously can't see but we can hear it so it could be anywhere around here and you can you heard it play the sound but it's not playing it anymore and that's just because we forgot to loop it so let's after this hold down d left click to get a delay duration being whatever you want i'm going to do it as be random so let's right click and get a random integer in range minimum being three maximum being seven and then connect that into the delay so anywhere between three and seven seconds will be how long it waits for before playing the sound again and you can obviously set that up to be whatever you want but i think that's going to be good for me and then we'll drag that back into the play sound allocation there like so so it's going to be continually doing this throughout the whole game once again now let's hit play to test this out again now we can hear that it should be looping that sound there you go and again it's waiting a random amount of time between three and seven seconds and it will be anywhere around here you can hear that the sound is moving around us if i were to just stay still it will be moving around us and if i were to exit and put an arrow back in there just to test it just so we can see where it actually is let's do this and then make sure we tick it to be not hidden in game now we should be able to see that it is also moving around perfectly like so so i think that will be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do again it's a nice quick and simple one we were just creating an enemy which is moving around us and moving about the level but we can't see it we can only hear it so i'm not moving my camera or play here so you can hear the audio of the enemy walking around us but we are not able to see it so this is a really nice horror mechanic which you might want to use for your game and again you can set it up so they're just always chasing the player very slowly but the player can't see only here i think that would be a cool mechanic or maybe it will show itself to the player every now and then maybe when it's seen the player it will chase them and then the player can see them whatever it is that you want you can set it up very easily and perfectly you can hear it's really close to us now but again it's very easy to set up and customize this to do whatever you want this is a good foundation level for this, for this mechanic so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one